Hey guys, Mr. Moonwalker here. Um, I got a, I had a video request from my friend Remington over at Critic Nation, and uh, you can check out you can check out his uh, page. It's really cool. Um, uh, you know he does like you know uh, movie reviews, TV shows, and all kinds of stuff. So you can uh, check out his page. It's called Critic Nation. You can type that up in the search bar right above this video. And, um, and tell him Mr. Moonwalker sent you. And, um, but anyways, he asked me to do a video of the top, the top five, um, the top five, um, uh, songs that I like to, that I like to do on stage. So, song, uh, song of list top five songs that I like to do. Um, and uh, let's start. Let's start with number five, and just work our way up. Uh, number number five, um, "Black or White." I really like that song because um, because it's very festive, very it's a universal message. Um, people remember that song really well. Um, uh, you know, it's very upbeat, very you know happy. You know, <laughs> and then um. Then, uh, and just, it's a great song by quality, and I, I do it for, like, when I do parades, and I do, you know, uh, towards the end of my shows and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, um, that's not, that's number five, is black or white. Number four, uh, number four is... Man in the Mirror, number four, um, and I like to do that song because uh, it's very like you know I mean again it's another it's another song that's you know very a great message and um, and when I perform it I usually put it right at the end of my show so that uh, people will remember it, um, and I it's I just get so into the song you know. I get caught up in the music and I get, you know, um, and, and I'm just like, you know, I start, you know, doing the spin, landing, you know, doing the spin, landing on my, uh, <laughs> on my knees and then, um, and then, uh, let's see, and just, um, I just love that song so much. I mean, especially towards the end. I mean, you know, you know, once, I, once I do that spin and land on my knees, I'm just totally into the in the zone on that song, um, and uh, you know you can just feel the love coming from the crowd, and just um, I get so emotional about about that song. <laughs> so, so yeah, and then um, uh, okay, number three, number three, um, beat it. And the reason why I like to do that one is for a couple of reasons. One, because it's you know it's like it's another up it's another upbeat song. Everybody everybody knows that song. I'm sorry, I'm shaking the camera so much. <laughs> um, so and then um, so yeah, and then uh, and that that was that was the song that really um that that was the song that. Uh, got me started way back, you know, 10 years ago from, you know, 10 years ago, I did that song in junior high, and, um, and it really boosted my success, just skyrocketed from that day on, and, um, it was all because of that song, you know, and, um, I remember, you know, I, I remember that day very well, and, um, it's a great memory for me. Every time I do that song, I just remember that, you know, how I'm beginning my, you know, you know, my roots, you know, of, um, of everything. And, um, and I, and I still do the same routine, um, to it, I mean, somewhat. I mean, you know, as far as the guitar solo goes, I still do that routine as a tribute, you know, as a, you know, as a reminder of where I came from and, um, how I started, so yeah, and then, um, uh, so yeah, 
So yeah, I, I like that song. And, and actually, another fun fact about that song is that um, it was the first song that I ever liked as a kid. I mean, I was three years old, and that was my first favorite song, was Beat It. <laughs> Can you believe that? Um, so, so yeah, and then, so, um, uh, number two, uh, Smooth Criminal. I really like to do that song, um, just because of how, you know, like, it starts out really like, you know, do, 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 and that gives me a chance to, you know, do like, really smooth and very, um, uh, somewhat slow, but, uh, you know, freestyle moves, you know, um, to that nice, um, you know, walking down the street, you know, it makes you, it makes you feel like you're walking down, like, a, a sidewalk at night, and you're, like, you know, snapping your fingers, you know, um, so, um, and, uh, then it's, like, then it just busts into the song, you know, and, uh, and then, uh, just the whole feeling of it. I love the outfit. I love the, um, you know, the, the dance moves. Um, uh, I can do that song in my sleep. <laughs> I know it so well. <laughs> um, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I like, you know, I like that song a lot, um. And then, um, uh, then, so now for the number, the number one song, the number one song that I like to do on stage and for appearances, and you'll see me do this one a lot, Billie Jean. And that's just, I, I mean, to me that, to me that is Michael's signature song. I mean, you know, you can't deny that. I mean, you know. When people think of Michael Jackson, they think of the glove, they think of, you know, the hat. You know, um, some people, if they remember, you know, they, the Motown 25, you know, show. And so, um, and I perform it just like that, you know. Um, you know, I, alter, I alternate between, um, depending on where I'm at and, you know, how I'm feeling that night. Um, I um, perform it either the way he performs it live. Or the way he did in Motown 25. And, um, so yeah. And then, um, and I'm working on getting that jacket, actually. I'm, you know, that's my next, uh, jacket that, um, that I want to get. Because that's just it's such a, you know, iconic, you know, jacket. You know, just the black sequin. Um, uh, but I perform that song at, at every every event that I go to. I make sure that that's in the set list, or or if it just, or if they say you know that I just have one song to do, that's the song I do. I you know, I, I do Billie Jean because you know everybody everybody knows that song and it's and it's got the moonwalk in it. I mean you know, <laughs> well how can how can you get any better than that? And so you know in doing the song it allows me to do um, freestyling, especially at the end. At the end of the song, that's when you get to freestyle and do the robot and um, the moonwalk and all these different glides and um, and then toss the hat at the end. You know, when I toss the hat at the end, that's like a, it's, it's like I mean uh, I don't get I don't get a chance to really do that often, but when I do, I try and I chuck that sucker across the stage. You know, um, and I don't do it out in the crowd because I might not get it back. <laughs> I might not get the hat back, but, um, and then, so, so, yeah, and, uh, but, yeah, that's my number one song, you know, that's, uh, so, yeah, so, yeah, that's the, uh, top five songs, so, now is, um, comment time, I asked you guys on Facebook, on my Facebook page, what was, what's your favorite, uh, Michael Jackson song? And, and here's what, here's what we got. Alright. Alright, so, Christopher Payne, you know, which, um, congratulations, congratulations, buddy, you know, you got over 50 views, um, on your page, I'm proud of you. Um, but anyway, 
His um his favorite song on there. Okay, so he said "Stranger in Moscow." I just performed that yesterday. At, um, at a, you know a private little thing. Um, I like doing I like doing that song too because you know because of the the robot. I like that because you know you're doing robot and pop and lock you know moves, and uh, and I I I met the guy who who was in that video, the homeless guy. He's not really homeless, trust me. He's not. He's doing really well for himself. He was also the voice of Lord Zed in in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. But yeah, I met that guy at, at Comic Con. Really cool. Um, Epi. Um, Epi says she likes his song "Leave Leave Me Alone." Great song. Um, great song to to um. I say, let your energy out, you know, when you're just, like, mad at the world, or, or you know, or, then, or, you know, <laughs> you know, when you're mad about something, and, you know, you want people to leave you alone, or you want somebody out of your life, that is the best song for it, because, you know, it's just straightforward, and, you know, um, I like that song, too, um, and plus, it's a good song, <laughs> don't get me wrong, alright, Jeremy and Kelly, um, they both said, um, Man in the Mirror, and, uh, I like that song, yep, <laughs> it's on my top five. <laughs> um, Jasmine, Jasmine said, uh, You Are Not Alone, that's right, I like that, I like that song, um, very emotional song, um, back, back when I was in fifth or sixth grade, I had that... That song reminded me of, and still does, you know, sometimes, of a very special girl, um, that, from my past, and I still keep in contact with her, um, so if she's watching this video, um, I mean, she probably may not know it, but I'm saying it now, um, that, that song really reminded me of, um, of that special girl, but anyway, yeah, Jasmine, uh, you are you know, you are not alone, girl. You know. <laughs> um, anyways. And then, okay, next on the list. Kayla. Um, Kayla said, don't stop till you get enough. Michael's first hit as a solo artist, or first, you know, from when he really became a solo artist. Um... I like that song too. I mean, it's a great disco song. You know, um, when you're really into a disco move and you mood and you you want to you want to do like you know the James Brown moves and you want um, you know and just you know song you know happy song. It's like just it's great. You know, um, I like that song. Uh, Melissa, Thriller. Ah, so yeah, Thriller. That's another song. That um everybody remembers that, uh, and so, and actually Melissa, you're in for a, you're in for a treat this Halloween. Um, I'm working on something. I think I already announced it, but I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say the specifics on it. Um, but, but yeah, um, so yeah, you're in for a treat this Halloween, um, as far as my videos go, so keep an eye out for a, you know, for a, a video that has to do with Thriller, <laughs> right there, I just said too much, but, you know. anyway, so, that was, that was your guys' favorite songs, oh, but also, comment down in the, um, in this, vi in the video comments, um, what's your favorite song, what's, you know, what, what song do you guys like? Um, from Michael Jackson. What's your number one song that it's just like you know when you hear that you're like oh this is my jam you know no pun intended. <laughs> um. Uh. So yeah. So I'll catch you guys later. Um. I got plenty. I got. I got a lot more videos to work on. Um. Coming up and um. Yeah. I'll. I'll, I'll catch him. You know. Catch you guys later. Love you all. It's Mr. Moonwalker signing out.